My name is Syed Mubin and uh, I'm a Chief Scientific Officer for Sun Hydrogen. Sun Hydrogen is a company that is developing nanoparticle-based green hydrogen production process uh, that utilizes sun's energy to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Because hydrogen can serve as an energy carrier for transportation, hydrogen can power your houses, hydrogen can be used for chemical industries and other industry sectors. These are the three major sectors that has huge carbon footprint. The goal is to capture sun's energy and use water as our feedstock to produce clean hydrogen for our energy future. The hydrogen production currently happens through a process called steam methane reforming. What it means is you take natural gas and you reform it with steam and you produce hydrogen. The problem with that is, since you are producing hydrogen from a hydrocarbon feedstock, the byproduct over there is carbon dioxide. The possibility of generating hydrogen from water, which is what makes us clean. So now you have taken carbon out of the equation, you use water and you use electricity or you could use thermal means to split water molecules to produce hydrogen and now your byproduct is oxygen. The core technology is built on a nanoparticle based device design approach for hydrogen production. Now the way this works is you have two major components for hydrogen production. One is a light absorption unit because we need to capture sunlight and you needed to convert that sunlight to some form of energy which is then fed to a catalyst component to drive the reaction. So now these two components have to be put together in close proximity in order for this process to happen efficiently. The first milestone would be, can we make these light absorption units that, we, that is needed to capture sun's energy at scales that can be easily manufactured. The second milestone is, once we absorb the light, that energy has to be given to the catalyst to drive the reaction. So you need to have a good catalyst component. The third milestone is coming up with a good membrane integration assembly that separates hydrogen and oxygen, which not only prevents the explosion, but also gives the high purity hydrogen, which is needed for most applications. The Sun Hydrogen prototype integrates the light absorption component, the catalyst and membrane, all in a single housing unit. Now this was carefully designed in such a way that the catalyst that is needed to drive the reaction and the light absorption unit which gives the energy to drive the reaction is interfaced at close proximity so that the efficiency losses are minimal. Now this is different than a conventional electrolyzer process. In a conventional electrolyzer process, you have an electrolyzer unit which is decoupled from an electricity generation source. A conventional electrolyzer unit runs on a DC power source, so you need to have some interfacial electronic components to convert that AC power source to DC power source to run your electrolyzer. Whereas the prototype that we designed completely eliminates the interfacial electronic components and this has advantages over both cost and efficiency. This prototype houses a nanoparticle hydrogen generator and the next goal is to come up with a prototype where we could have multiple arrays of such hydrogen generators that maximizes the light absorption, maximizes the hydrogen efficiency and minimizes the cost. These arrays will make up a hydrogen panel that can be deployed on a solar farm or a rooftop. Or it can be used for decentralized applications. For example, if you wanted to power a house or a power a community, you could have these prototypes designed to be modular to fit individual needs. So uh, this prototype is a culmination of tireless work from the Sun Hydrogen team at Iowa, the Sun Hydrogen partners at University of Michigan, the industry partners who are working on the membranes, who are working on the catalysts, who are working on the device housing. So this is a culmination of tireless efforts from multiple entities. And now our goal is to take this prototype, make it even better and commercialize it at scales that affect the industries and populations around the world who are seeking for a green hydrogen future. Imagine the reduction in the carbon footprint and imagine the advantage that it brings to the climate problem that we face. So, so that's what excites me. It has multiple phases to solve multiple challenges.